Alright, leading up next is fielding. Another kind of important thing about baseball, you need to know how to field the ball. Once the ball is hit, as a defender, your job is to keep the ball from getting anywhere to away from you so the runners will not score. First off, Wario cannot hit the ball that far without a charge swing. That's total bullshit. Even in a Mario game, that's bull. When playing with a nunchuck, use the analog stick to move and shake. Oh, what would the what would this thing be called? The joystick, I guess. I don't know. We'll figure it out. I just called it the nunchuck aruka luka muka snuka. I don't know. I'm very tired. I was supposed to get all this done yesterday. This is being recorded on a second day. Why? Because the universe hates me. That's why. Jeez Louise, Wario. Can you hit one out of the ballpark, please, dude? You're like the best of the best. Well, they're not the best hitter. Actually, I think there are maybe four or five hitters in the game better than him. I'm trying to think. Donkey Kong. Well, out of the captains, Donkey Kong and Bowser are better hitters than he is. In general. Just in general. You know? In general. Alright, what's up next? Grab grounders. Okay. Try fielding grounders and throwing out runners. Hold Wii Remote firmly. Blah, blah, blah. You get the drill. Pick up the ball and swing the Wii Remote to throw it. That's with just the Wii Remote. The nunchuck, obviously, it's different. There you go. With the nunchuck, tilt the stick forward to the base where you want to throw it. Obviously, if you throw it to the right, that's first. Throw it uh, up, it's second. Throw it to the left, it's... Uh, throw it to the left, it's uh, third base. And throw it... Uh, push the thing down, it goes to home plate. Obviously. Alright. Alright, eh? There you go, love. We got ourselves a good fielding. When you get the ball, throw quickly to beat the runner and get the out. Now you can do a good Australian accent when you're playing baseball because they're getting pretty good at baseball down there. In the land down under. Gotta go to the outback though. My accents flip from British to Australian very easily. Oh, this jumping catches. Oh, jumping catches. Press A while standing still to jump. Jump at the right time to catch the ball. Yay! Oh, wait, I didn't do it. It's demo. Darn it. <sighs> Jump while running to do a diving catch. You see how tricky that is, though? At least the game gives you the common courtesy of not having the option of having the option to skip this if you want to but in order to unlock the character you have to do it so be prepared for a few minutes of me sucking at catching a baseball which is not at all real life I'm actually a pretty decent fielder can't run for crap because I'm big actually I'm a smart base I'm actually a smart base runner I'm just not a particularly fast one even though one year in uh, one year in uh, Little League, I had more stolen bases than I did hits. I checked with I, my dad was one of the coaches, and he kept the uh, record book of uh, he kept the record books of all the things we had. Apparently, that year I had like three hits, and I had like twelve stolen bases. I used to be a very good base runner. But unfortunately, I got big. But as I got big, I actually developed into becoming a really good hitter. I actually even taught myself how to switch hit. That means I, I can hit from both sides of the plate. I can hit from the right side like Wario's hitting now, and I can hit from the left side. 
like uh, Bowser, Donkey Kong, and Luigi do. So I'm actually pretty damn good at baseball. That's why I played on my high school team. Oh, my junior high school team, not my high school team. I actually didn't make the cut for high school. I made it for junior varsity, but then I broke my leg. And then I, uh... And then I, uh... In varsity, I didn't make it because... A, they didn't have a position for me because I was too big. The one thing about my school was the fact that, uh... They loved athletes. I mean, the high school I went to was where, uh... Where Boomer Esiason, the quarterback, the NFL quarterback, went to high school. So... Um... So, yeah, they love athletes. And the coach, who I'm good... F who I my family's been good friends with for years, because my uncle was on one of the, uh... Good teams at the high school. And he was actually a coach for them for a while. Uh, he said if there was a if they had a DH in the high school league, I probably would have made the cut because I was hitting the ball. Like let's say we have a our field was all the way in the back. I was as far away from the school basically as humanly possible, and I was hitting that all the way to the school on not without hopping. Oh, trying to make these super diving catches and I can't. Best play that I've ever seen on a field, like I, in a game I was participating in. There was this, I was friends with this kid Andrew, and he was like our backup first baseman. He used to never get reps at first because we had this other kid who was really good at it. And, uh, the thing was, he would, uh, we were in the World Series, the Little League World Series. We were in it for like six years in a row, but we kept. Every time we played the Blue Jays, we would lose. We were the uh, Brewers. And, uh... But one year, I'm playing in right field, and I'm watching this happen. My friend Kenny, who was on the other team, hits this screaming line drive into the first baseman's glove. He steps on first, throws it to second, and gets a triple play. I, it was, that was incredible. That was the only World Series game we ever won against the Blue Jays. We played the Blue Jays, I think, three times and lost all three World Series. We played against the White Sox once, which we won. And I think we played against the, uh... I think we played against the Yankees one year and we won. Yeah, we were a very good team. A good mix of, like, raw talent and just good baseball acumen. And here I am just fiddling with the controls because I'm... I'm kind of getting bored at this point. It's just like, ugh, we're keep, why does this have to keep going? But you're actually going to need to know how to be a good base runner in this game. Especially in the uh, when you're actually playing games. Because you never know who's got a good cannon in the outfield. Actually, you should know because certain characters do have a special ability called uh, Laser Beam. Which allows them to throw a ball immediately to home plate. It goes like a <gasps> hiccup, excuse me, rocket to home plate. Multiple base runners is kind of annoying. As you can see here, if you're just using the one Wii remote, they would run automatically, but that's not fun. You want to make the individual players run. Like, I would, I'd rather love, uh, I would rather that so I could have so if I hit a line drive and I have a runner at first and I have a runner at third, both the runners aren't going to run. I would have the third baseman, the runner on third, run all the way home. Sorry for all this baseball acumen, guys. I mean, I am a baseball geek. Not just because my team is the defending NL champs, waka waka, but the fact that, well, you know... I just love I just love baseball. I don't know why. I don't know where this inane love for the game came from. It it's just always been with me. All right, I think the last thing we have to cover in running is uh stealing bases. Oh my god. Panda hates me when we play this game because I always steal bases. 
I always steal bases. I'm a small ball guy when it comes to baseball games. I'd rather score my runs the gritty way rather than score them by sitting there and waiting for a three-run homer because chances are the three-run homer is not going to come. Actually, no, we don't have to do that. Oh, we have to do this thing. Okay. I forgot about the close plays. I wasn't even paying attention. I'm being distracted by something colorful on the television. Tyrant, the original series on FX. And let's see. If the fielder wins, the runner is knocked over and called out. Oh, there you go. Oh, Toad, you just trucked him. Good for you, buddy. Good for you. Close plays can be tricky, but let's try. And as you can see, this is another one where they're like, if you don't want to do this, that's fine. I could do this. Close plays are easy in this game. It's just a matter of the buttons. Wait, why didn't he throw it? Oh, that's why. I must, I must have stolen here. I keep stealing home. I don't know why. I just have a very itchy trigger finger. Let's see if we'll actually throw. There you go. Yeah, Wario is one of the players that has uh, the laser beam. I'm not sure who else does. The uh, the Piantas do. I know that. Or Piantas. I don't know how you say it. I call them Piantas. You know, the guys from Mario Sunshine. The guys, the, the, the big fat guys from Mario Sunshine. You know, the guys. If I insulted anybody, I apologize. Uh, who else does? Has the laser ca beam cannon thing. Um, I'm trying to think. I can't think of anybody. The the Piantas, Wario. Um, no, not Donkey Kong. Not. I uh, maybe Bowser does. I'm not sure. Waluigi used to have it, but he got a new ability in this game. Here you go, here's stealing bases. And you need to use a nunchuck in order to steal bases. Or, there is another uh, control ability, but I'm going to go over that in a later episode. That's the one I'm going to be using for the duration of when I play games. It's sort of like, uh, it's sort of like having a, uh, a GameCube controller. So all you have to really do is twist the, uh, twist the Wii Remote down to its side and just use the buttons like that. It's a lot easier like that. At least for me, it is. Sorry, I haven't been reading much of the directions, but there really isn't much of a need. It's ob It's pretty basically obvious. Steal bases. You just gotta run before the pitch is thrown and make sure you're fast enough in order to get the bases, the base stolen. All right. And presto. Alright, I think all that's left is the special stuff. And that's that stuff can be tricky. That stuff can be really tricky. Like trying to do the... They have special little techniques to learn. Like, uh, you know, there's like... Making special plays. Throwing items at people on the field. And then there's, I think, one other one. I'm not sure. Uh, oh, yeah, robbing home runs. That one's awesome. <laughs> Sorry, I'm just a little sleepy. When error items are available, blah, blah, blah. Point the cursor to aim, then press B to fire the error item in that direction. Oh, right in the face, Wario. Now, there are multiple types of error items. I think you have to unlock some of them, though. I know you start out with bananas, shells, and bombs. You have to unlock the rest of them. You unlock, uh... Hmm, what are the other ones you unlock? 
You unlock, uh, the fireball. You unlock the, uh... Uh, what's the other one you unlock? Oh, I hit a home run. Good for me. Anyway, um... There's the fireballs. There's... I think there's booze. And not booze as in alcohol. I mean, like... Booze as in the B-O-O-S. Booze. Those ones, that one's tricky. I don't remember what the last one is. I can't think of it. We'll, we'll, we'll unlock it during the game, because the only way to unlock it is through, uh... The only way to unlock it, at least the only way I remember you can unlock it, is with, uh... Uh, it's to play of the game. Oh my god, I'm tired. I'm sorry, guys. Alright. Buddy tosses. Okay, this one's actually kind of trick. This was one of the tricky ones. Let's practice using the two-player buddy toss. Not even going to talk about the Wii Remote, because that's kind of irrelevant. There you go, let's see. When players with chemistry are near each other, the musical icon will appear. Attack the ball to toss it to the other player. Take the ball and quickly throw it to hurl a high-speed ball to the infield. Yeah, this one's very tricky because sometimes it won't work and other times it, your, your fielder will just take too long to throw or you'll bump into the wall. It's very, this one is, this one I'll admit is very tricky, so. If you can practice this before you play the game, I recommend you do. Because I believe there are a couple of missions you have to do in story mode that you have to do that, so. Well, I have a headache. Ooh, when I'm tired. Jeez. How many times am I going to yawn this LP so far? Alright. Now, I'm a master at this game, so it would take a lot more than uh, little things like that to uh, mess with me. Of course, not all things in the, uh, in the world work in my favor. One of the ones that doesn't work in my favor, usually, I think I do pretty okay in it in practice mode here, is the last buddy, is the last, uh, special thing you have to do. Buddy jumps to rob home runs. It takes a lot of precision timing with this one. Blah, 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 hold the weird mode firmly. Yeah, Wario cannot hit the ball that hard without charging this swing, just saying. Normally, when a ball is hit this high, there's no way to reach it. Usually, that is correct. If you have players with chemistry near each other, they can try a buddy jump. When the musical icon appears, and the players overlap, jump twice to do a buddy jump. I think I do fairly well at this. It's just it's just very tricky timing to get. And if you don't have chemistry in your outfield, you've got to try that because you got to at least attempt to because it's very tricky not to do it. All right. Let's see here. I almost started this recording like 5 minutes earlier than I was supposed to, but then stinking uh what's it call it? Uh I got a phone call. And apparently I didn't put the thing on mute because you guys could obviously hear the Ghost Nappa theme, which is my ringtone. I alternate, really, on my phone. I have, like, a bunch of ringtones. My my favorite is Doe I Missed, but Ghost Nappa's... I've kept Ghost Nappa for a while, because I like it. Actually, six months, actually. Oh, there we go. Oh, we're good. Oh, we're good at this. We so good at this. During multiplayer, work with a friend to get the outs. Blooper is ready to go. That is the new player we unlocked. Blooper. Uh, he's not exactly worth it, but it's, it's still, he's a good fielder, and he's got some pretty decent pitches. 
Um, but we'll be worrying more about Blooper and the kinds of stuff he can do as we progress through Challenge Mode. Thank you guys for joining me on Nintendo Man 64. Join me next time where we will divulge into Challenge Mode and take on the one-player adventure throughout Baseball Island. Until then, Saya freaking Nora.